For our final project, we decided to create a website. We ended up with five pages total, one home page with links to four individual pages. We decided to use Google Sites as our host site, but here are a few other programs that are popular for creating websites. They include Dreamweaver, Fat Cow, GoDaddy, and iPage. Dreamweaver is a more professional software program that can be bought and downloaded but there are plenty of other cheaper alternatives, such as the ones I listed previously. We created our website by using Google, the Google Sites Editor. We began with a simple and plain layout and then created our own HTML code using the HTML button in the page editor, as seen in Figure 2. We chose to create our own HTML codes rather than choose a theme, which was already provided by Google because we wanted to challenge ourselves and have more control over the overall design. Clicking on the HTML button brings up a pop-up window where we could enter the HTML tags directly into the code. Here is a screenshot of the HTML editing window where we added links to the photographs in our table. The part of the code beginning with the A tag and the IMG tag connects our pictures to our individual pages by embedding a link. This is just one of the many lines of code we used to build our home page and layout. We liked how Google Sites Editor allowed us to easily embed links, bold text, and styles with some of its built-in tools. However, Google also limited our use in other areas. Google did not allow us to add CSS codes to manipulate the text color and attributes when we hovered over a link. The Google Sites Editor also did not allow us to change the body tag to add different backgrounds to individual pages using HTML, and it required us to use its special application to add any background at all. Furthermore, the Google Site Editor added unnecessary applications such as commenting ability and automatic titles, which we didn't want, so we had to uncheck these features under the Page Options tab. Despite these quirks, Google Sites was helpful because it allowed us to upload our images to create the site directly, and it was, for the most part, cooperative towards the basic eight. HTML structures we created. To create the layout of our homepage, we used HTML to form a table. We merged the first row of the table across four columns using the call span attribute to create the heading of the page. Next, we added in TR and TD tags to create four columns in the second row where we inserted our pictures. We continued this pattern to insert our names into the table and use the call span attribute once more to merge the fourth row in order to write one continuous description of our pre previous spatial detection project. We ne next, we added a background to increase the page's visual aesthetic. We added the background using part of Google's What You See is What You Get editing system under the Manage Page column. Once our layout was completed, we, use, we went back to the HTML tab in the editor and inserted a href equals and a slash a tag to embed the pictures and our names with links to our personal pages. Within our personal pages, we used a similar layout to our homepage to create unity in our overall web design. We have a photo of each individual with their name. On the home page, we placed our names in the H1 tag. We centered our text and descriptions to keep the page style refined. At the bottom of each personal page, we included a link for the user to return to the home page of our website. This was necessary to provide easy navigation of the website. Each of our personal pages displays the same format. However, we took a screenshot of each individual one to highlight the different aspects of the layout. Here we use the insert table feature to organize our information. 
This feature allows you to make tables of various sizes, depending on how much information you have to organize and how you wish to do that. We use a 2 by 3 table here to display our level of education, the schools we attended, and the years we were there. Here we used a numbered bullet system to list our extracurricular activities. This allows one to display all the information in an organized way that is appealing to the eye. In this screenshot, we used bullet points to present our hobbies in a logical and convenient manner. Overall, HTML is a popular method of website creation and design that employs a relatively basic and straightforward model. Our group's experience with making the website was positive and relatively smooth. Furthermore, members who had never had prior experience using HTML were able to learn the basics of website design by being able to access the source code and participating in the hands-on process of making our individual pages.